Soy Gabrielle Harris. Bienvenido a Doctora in Jackery Damages. Welcome to the show. My name is Dr. Damages. We're coming to you from the greatest city in the world. New York! Yes, yes, yes. New York City is so great that baby Jesus survived Christmas in all of New York City. The Queens, the Bronx, even, 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 even in Brooklyn. Wow. Jesus survived. Wow. But the same thing cannot be said of New Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> Watch. Many arrived at St. Clair Catholic Church in Clifton, New Jersey this morning to a real bummer of a surprise. Baby Jesus stolen from the church's brand new nativity scene. Uh, <laughs> I know, I know. Uh, they stole baby Jesus. That is terrible. This, this New Jersey people, baby, a new baby Jesus. Now, now, the pastor of the church was called and said, what do you think about this? How do you feel? Listen to him. As I looked at it, I, I became very saddened because our people put so much money into building this. This is our first nativity ever in this parish. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Pastor. I wasn't laughing at you. Um, but um, isn't it sad enough that you live in New Jersey? <laughs> Why do you feel I mean, <laughs> you should have gotten used to things like this. Now, I heard that it happens in New Jersey all the time. Is it? <laughs> Now, I hope baby Jesus survived wherever you are in the world. Mm. We had a wonderful Christmas here in, in New York City. I ate a goosey soup, a bono soup, <laughs> pound a yam. We don't miss, we don't miss Africa. That's, that's the truth. <laughs> we have everything we need here. Now, all over the world, people have moved on from Christmas. Yes. Everyone is now anticipating the new year. <laughs> and as expected, 2016 will be an interesting year. Surprises, a lot of surprises are waiting for you. Now, one of them is that we are sure that there will be a change, not just in, in America, across the world. In America, we're going to have a new president. Yes! Oh, yeah! Yes. Obama is done. <laughs> He's done. He's, he, this is just, it's over. <laughs> Starting next month, Americans will begin the process of choosing who will be their next president. Wow. And the choice is very clear. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, will real Americans take over their country? Take it back. From all these American Indians, Muslims, Mexicans, Haitians, Chinese, uh, Congolese, and all these aliens, people who should, who should be in reservations. Can real Americans take it over, take it back from them? Or should they allow these refugees and their female sympathizers to take over America and send the real Americans to reservation? That, that's the question. That's, that's all. That is the great question. But in Uganda, <laughs> the 2016 election, has a different kind of question. Tell me. The question is simple. If you put your finger inside the anus of a leopard, what, <laughs> what will happen? No, no, I'm not, I'm not the one, I'm not the one who is saying this okay. now. Eh? This is the, the, the president of Uganda. Okay, watch him. Now the thugs are being rounded up. They have been arrested. You don't attack a Ugandan. They would pay very dearly. You don't attack. You have no right even to point a finger at me. We shall smash all that little nonsense. If you go and you put your finger in the anus of a, of a leopard, you are in trouble. Wow. <laughs> no, no. Okay. The, man, the man knows what he's talking about. He said, you have no right to point finger at me. He's the president. Or he will smash you. But that question is interesting. How, why is that? I've not thought about that. Hmm. What will happen if you put your thing here? <laughs> now, in Ghana, in Ghana, they have a different issue, different question. Their 2016 election will be a question of what do you do to a goat that messes up the full football field? Yeah. No, no. I, I, the president called himself a goat. He said he's a living goat, and that like the goats in Nigeria who are dead goats. No, no. He, okay, watch. Listen to him. I'm, I'm a living goat. You're a living goat. You're not a dead goat. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know. I know. They are learning a lot from Nigeria. Goats and yam and eating yam. You know, in Ghana, they have it all. Now, as expected, prophets are already predicting what will happen in 2016. They are running their mouths because nobody goes back to check. <laughs> Were they right <laughs> the year before? Nobody cares. So, Prophet Ayo Fire, you know him? The, the prophet in charge of uh, Ekiti yes, Central yes, Shrine. Yes, yeah, prophet yeah, the, uh, yeah, Prophet Ekiti Central Shrine. He, he spoke and he said that Buhari is a goner. What? He said 2016 Buhari is gone. <laughs> I know, I know, what? I know. People think that he is the one that is a goner. But anyway, he said that people should start praying for Buhari. 
I am not a prophet. What I do is to use scientific methods to tell you what to look forward to in 2016. Mm -hmm. Now, I won't be telling you the usual things, you know, like the fact that Too Faced DBR will have a new baby from another baby mama. <laughs> Or that flavor will take off his shirt somewhere. Okay. <laughs> or that co-CEO Jacko will be born again and she will stop calling herself an actress and call herself what she really is, a porn star. Ah! What? Ah! No, no, who wrote that crap? Who? <laughs> <laughs> now, I will tell you things that are outside of this you are read. Most of the things I will tell you will be things that will make you grow and be a better person. Mm -hmm. So listen to me. As we enter 2016, these are some of the things you need to look up to. Okay, in 2016, find a new way of doing all things. That way you will keep life interesting. Here is a man who found a new way of pounding yam. Watch. <laughs> I know, I know, it's classic. It's classic. You know, you, you have to find new ways of doing things. In 2016, don't just be one of them. Stand out. When you speak in front of the camera, speak mm -hmm. in a way that people will pay attention. Yes. Make them remember what you said. Hey. Every word of it. Now, here is a Nigerian senator speaking inside the Senate chambers. Watch. By urgently coming up with a more carbon population reduction policy, this means to pause the and Islamically, what, what this means? I pray for God to give me 50 children. I don't care for any population because I know God will feed them. I will just pray for God to provide what I will feed them and educate them. <laughs> <laughs> now, the, the man is wonderful. In 2016, you need a real friend around you. Yes. No, no, not all these fake friends. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm talking, it's not just about when things are hard. But most importantly, when things are good, when you are enjoying yourself, you need a friend. Yeah. Like, watch. <laughs> now, now, the friend that I'm talking about is the one that we act when the spirit goes into you and you go off your gear. You know what I mean? Look at the woman dancing again. Look at her. You see, when your wig falls out of your head, oh, no. you need a friend who will cover up for you. Yes, yes. Like, yeah, you, you have to. <laughs> and in 2016, there will be more and more cameras following us around wherever you go. If you are in public and the cameras are on you, pretend that all is well. When you are expected to dance with your wife, for Christ's sake, <laughs> just pretend and dance. <laughs> and my friend, why are you hey. showing that picture now? I, I tell no, you the picture, why are you showing that crap? On Christmas Eve, the transport minister, Nigeria's transport minister, Amechi, wrote me Amechi, had a birthday party for the wife. Everyone was there waiting for Amechi to dance, but Amechi was not feeling it. Watch. <laughs> I know, I know. You can't do that in 2016. No, 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 no. You cannot. In 2016, if you don't know what is going on, it's okay to say so. No need pretending. <laughs> I know, I know. This is contradictory to the last one I told you. But watch as this Ghanaian actress came out boldly to collect an award for somebody she didn't know about. <laughs> watch. Ifia, what do you have to say on behalf of Honorable Katie Hammond? You'd be amazed I don't know her. But it's, you know... <laughs> It's the gospel truth, I don't lie. I don't know who she is, but I, I, I hear him. Ah, is he so is he, is I, I don't know who he is, mm. but on behalf of my husband, I'd like to assure Ghanaians that everybody owes, even America does. You see, that's what I'm talking about. But most importantly, in 2016, don't let any uncle of yours or aunt to steal your enjoyment. Yes. No, you have the right to enjoy yourself. Mm -hmm. Trust me, those your uncles and aunts, they once enjoy their lives. Mm -hmm. Forget that, that things are hard for them now. <laughs> you doubt me, you doubt, okay, watch. Check on that. 
dance like that. Now, as a sign of things to come, Fadam Baka, you know him? Yeah. Fadam Baka, yeah. He visited Asorok the other day. He did? To pray for Buhari. Yes. He came out and said the following, watch. A time of promotion is coming for this land. Mm -hmm. Irrespective of what we are passing through, I pray for Nigerian success. We will succeed. So I'm singing a song of success. That after all this, we will succeed. Yeah, yeah. You know, he said after all these things that Nigeria will succeed. Is, is, it, is that different from what um, Ayo or uh, Risa Jaffo used to say during Jonathan's time? Is that different? I don't think so. Especially after Ghana must go back and be placed inside his uh, limousine. You remember that Ayo? Yeah, mm -hmm. yes, yes. Now, let's listen to Fadam Bakamo. What is happening now is, is seasonal. It is just a hammer time period. In a no distant time, this season will equally pass away. Nigeria will hear better A. We are passing through a season of decay into another season of blessing. You see, you see what I'm saying? It is seasonal. We catch the thieves today and we free them tomorrow and catch the new ones tomorrow. That's, that's how it is. Is that not what EFCC is doing? <laughs> that's why we pay them, is it not? Anyway, Fadambaka was asked how he feels when people say that he is controversial. Mm. A very important question. Here is his answer. People are free to say whatever. They don't need the recharge card to speak. They don't need to pour fuel in their mouth to talk. So they are, free, they are free to say anything. And I'm also free to do what God wants me to do. <laughs> you know, I feel you, my man. I feel you. They say the same thing about me. I, I don't care. Now, however, there was one question that the man of God could not answer. He was asked about Biafra, and the outspoken man of God took a pass. Watch. No, I am silent over everything about Biafra. I don't want to discuss it. So that is not why I have come. Yes. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Wow. You, see, you see, in 2016, you need to be savvy, politically and otherwise. Mm -hmm. Before Fadambaka went to Asorok, he used to preach in English mixed with Igbo. And I often wondered how people who do not understand Igbo in his uh, church, how they follow his preaching. Mm. Eh, well, 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 well. I didn't know. Yeah, yeah, he used to do that. But after going to Asorok, and after meeting President Buhari, he hired an interpreter to translate his preaching into Hausa. Yeah, I'm not making it up, watch. Mm. Their dream and their hunger are only about how to save Nigeria, not how to milk Nigeria. They are not ready to take, so don't decide them to give. Their job is to save Nigeria. <laughs> yeah, obviously he wants to make sure that, that he's understood in Daura yes. Buhari sometime. Yeah. I, and I tell you, I tell you, ambitions are different. While Prophet TV Joshua translates his Emmanuel's TV theatricals. Sorry, I mean, I mean, service, service into French. Fadambaka wants to concentrate in Hausa. You know, in 2016, I may begin to translate uh, my show into keeping a real language. Start on Twitter. Say no to this senators buying new cars. The greatest indication of things to come in 2016 happened last week. Oh, yeah. Last week, President Buhari of Nigeria revealed his budget for 2016. Are you not impressed? Yeah. A president of Nigeria went into the National Assembly mm -hmm. with his two feet and delivered a budget. Wow. When was the last time that simple act happened? When was the last? No, tell me, you can ask Singo Baby. When was the last time a president <laughs> went in there? Now, it was 6.1 trillion naira budget. It was a very ambitious budget. In it, Buhari removed the fuel subsidy. Are you not, are you not surprised? He no. did that without demonstration, nothing. Instead of wow. causing pain on people, which Nigerians are already experiencing pain at the filling session, the government announced that from January 1, 2016, fuel will start selling for 85 naira a liter. Uh. I'm like, if they remove the subsidy, why would they be the one telling us how much? The f anyway, I, I, that's complicated. Yeah. In 2016 budget, the capital expenditure returned to 30 percent. It's against Jonathan's 21%. Did you guys follow that? And the people are telling me that the finance minister, the new one, is underqualified. How did she know that the capital expenditure should be higher? No, this people care. Anyway, my concern is with the subsidy. 
if without the subsidy and crude oil selling at $38 a barrel, fuel is selling at 85 naira a liter, what will be the cost of fuel when crude oil will be selling at $78 a barrel? Mm. We will get the answer in July of next year. <laughs> I'm telling you, we will get the answer in July. Now, why the government is refusing to release the details of the presidency's budget? Trent newspaper, you know the newspaper? Mm -hmm. Trent, yeah. yeah. Trent. They check their news again and again before they rush to publish. Mm. So Trent newspaper has revealed that food budget for the presidency is 1.7 billion. What? Yeah, unbelievable. Wow. 1.7 billion. I used to live in Zaria, and I know a tour joint in Zaria that can supply Asorok with home-cooked food for less than 10 million naira a year. So, what, wow. with what stomach, by the way, will be Buhari and Oshibanjo chop this, uh, this 1.7 billion food? Eh? Now, 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 with Doin Okubek in Jonathan's Asorok, I understand why Jonathan's food budget should be like 1 billion. But who will eat Buhari's 1.7 billion food? <laughs> Shehu Gaba? Gaba Shehu? Who? I mean, are they two people or one? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Now, now, Asso Rock food includes food that are reserved for frequent visitors. Mm. Now, Jonathan had Pius Anyem. Why Buhari has El Rufai? Now, you know Pius Anyem is massive. <laughs> He's big. But El Rufai is tiny, you know, very, very small. <laughs> Shouldn't Buhari's Why? budget be less than J Jonathan's budget? <laughs> considering that El Rufai is very, you know. True. Now, some people say that Buhari has more children than <laughs> Jonathan. But Jonathan had more girlfriends. <laughs> oh, no, no, I'm, I'm not making it up. You know? Some even said that Buhari's girls attract a lot of young men into Asorok. And the young men must be fed. I don't buy that. After all, Russian Jonathan attracted a lot of doctors and specialists when, when they were at Asorok. Did you know that he, she had operations and doctors were coming and the doctors had to be fed? Mm. <laughs> anyway, in a related story, former president, good luck, Jonathan, is the Trent newspaper man of the year. Are you not impressed? No. The man of the year, Trent newspaper named. That sh let, let that be a sh That was a great honor. Let that be a shame to all of you who are trying to put Jonathan down. The great Trent newspaper named him Man of the Year. The paper said that for better or for worse, he exemplified Nigeria's peculiar mess. Yeah. Talking about Nigeria's yeah. peculiar mess, since Boko Haram is still killing people, mm. when Lai Mohammed declared that our military oh. had defeated them, yes. let's go to Lai Mohammed and ask him what is going on. Yes. Uh, Mohammed. We are paying for the sins of the last administration and i'm not i'm being i'm, I'm being very serious <laughs> he said that we are paying for the sins of the last administration yeah. that, that's the answer to all the questions you may have about this government that's it anything you have wow. we are paying for the sin of the last administration <laughs> anyway this is segment we call secrets of pictures Uh, Secret of Pictures is based on the premise that a picture is worth more than a thousand words. Okay, the picture you're looking at is that of a state hospital in Nigeria. Now, now, mind you, this is a picture. This is this picture is not deep inside um, inside Boko Haram territory in Borono or anywhere. It's not even in the abandoned regions of the Niger Delta. That's a this hospital is in Ogun State, few miles from hey. Lagos State. Yeah, yeah. It serves over ten thousand people. Wow. In in that community. Yeah, yeah. I understand that there is a doctor wow. who goes to work every day there. The man wears suit and tie <laughs> to go to work. Wow. Now, I want to know the man's name and the medical <laughs> school that gave him a degree. <laughs> also, also, I want to know the medical body that oh, renews the operating license of this hospital. Oh, just, just, just look at it. Wow. People go there to, to be healed or to die. <gasps> I don't know. <laughs> the second picture is that of Nigerians coming down, Nigerian elite coming down from a plane by way of a ladder. Oh. I know, I know, look at, look at them. Follow this is, this is in Bauchi, Bauchi State, yeah. <laughs> and these are very important Nigerians, they are not regular Nigerians. It, Sasha cannot afford a plane ticket to Nigeria. <laughs> Tomato just cannot. I'm talking about important Nigerians. Now, 
the world, the world has been making fun of Nigeria as a result of this picture. <laughs> I am not going to join others in doing that. You know, I'm not. Look at the Kenyans making fun of Nigeria. Okay, pictures of passengers coming down a plane in Nigeria using a ladder have been doing the rounds for the last 24 hours, and I thought, no, that could not have happened. This is made up. But we've got video. Check it. Check this out. <laughs> and this is something you only see in Nigeria. No, I'm not. I think inherently Nigerians love to follow the ladder to heaven. My guess is that they we are practicing how to do this in you know, this play. Yeah, That's all we are doing. I'm telling you, we are follow the ladder to heaven. <laughs> That's it. You didn't make fun of Nigeria. Nonsense. I don't make fun of Nigeria. I leave it for keeping it real. Other than the fact that we have technically defeated Boko Haram, here are the stories making headline news across Nigeria this week. David Mack says he is waiting for God to talk to him to know if he should go on and run for re-election or to pull out. <laughs> I, I know, I know, gosh. It's like, the be this is the best time for EFCC to talk to him first before God gets to him. You know what I mean? It's waiting for God to talk to him. Some people are not scared that if God should come down and talk to David Mack, wouldn't you? He would pee in his pants. Anyway, Nigeria facing a huge crisis, national crisis, crying for a leader, says Patu Tommy. <laughs> you know, you know Patu Tommy, the man who thought he would be minister. Now, yeah. he added that he had better things to do than to waste his time analyzing the budget of 2016. Mm. Now, let me, let me, let me, let me talk to you, Pat, their part. You know, you know that you don't have to be a minister to be a leader. You can lead in other ways. The fact that you couldn't make it as a minister shouldn't make you this angry. <laughs> anyway, refineries to pay. This is this this this, this is wonderful. Refineries to pay into federal account from 2016 says uh, Ibe Kachuku. <laughs> when Jonathan had it, he said, "Why?" Why didn't anybody tell me about that? I didn't know you can do that. Nobody's getting all these things. Do you get what I'm saying? No. Bishop Kuka condemns embarrassing billions in Nigerian churches. <laughs> I'm wow. like, oops. <laughs> no, 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 he didn't. This whirling weller takes the ball into the 18-yard box. <laughs> he took it. He said, you know, you know what? He's, he's going after his own people <laughs> in, in churches. I'm like, wow. okay. Go ahead, my man. Nigeria scraps fuel subsidy, cuts petrol price to 85 naira a liter. This is Premium Times reporting, you know, and I'm like, this is good. But then, why is the government still setting the price? If you, there's no subsidy anymore, let the market determine the price. Is that not how it's supposed to go? Mm -hmm. I, they're confusing me. Yeah, so. <laughs> Buhari's administration is spending money like drunken seller. Says Femi Fane Kayode. <laughs> and you know, you know, you know, you know, Femi, my friend, is yabbing, yabbing like a man high on glue, you know? Wow. <laughs> on glue. Not, not, no more. Yeah. No, those ones don't. It has to be something like glue. <laughs> Our gods will punish those who collect David Max rice without voting for him. That is PDP chief saying to people who are collecting rice from David Mack. Now, this is exactly what the chief priest at Okija Shrine said to people when they collect money to vote for another candidate. I'm like, is David Max God and Okija Shrine God? Are they the same? You know, are they s I'm, I'm confused. I don't know. <laughs> the other day, Saraki met with Nigerian journalists. Did you hear the story? Saraki had a meeting with journalists. Yeah, yeah. Now, I'm telling you, four years from now, some of them will start returning the money they received that day. <laughs> just, just wait. Look at their faces. Give them time. Niger Delta is part of Biafra, says my sub leader. About time. <laughs> when asked to provide proof, he quoted page 419 of the book, Mongo Park's Secrets Diary. <laughs> Did you get that? I, he said it. I'm not the one that said it. And he provided proof. Go and read the book, Mongo Park's Secret Diaries, page 419. I know. Woman vomits padlock, delivers live turtle in Lagos, reports Sun newspaper. 
you know, you know, this is this is wonderful. And of the 101 people in that church with their cameras, none of them were able to take a picture. Take a picture. It, it didn't work. The cameras did not work while that was happening. It didn't. It didn't. 1,001, 101. I don't remember how many there were, but it didn't work. Nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for your email. Oh wow, Tomato Joss, uh, how was your Christmas? Great. Sadly, I had to come back. So oh. I know, I know, I know. The guy, the, the guy, the guy. Is the guy gone or is he around? <clears throat> Doctor, I'm why just is saying, it okay, that okay. every time you have okay. to talk about okay, a guy? Okay, okay, how do you okay. know it's not a no. girl? Oh. Anyway. Oh. Oh. Okay, okay. Let's get the emails. Let's get to the email. At the end, we we'll talk about this. This is new, new, new story. Lindy Kedja, are you watching? Oh. This is a story for you. All right. <laughs> okay. So do we have emails today? Every day is actor. Okay. Let's hear them. Okay. Our first email is from Femi Ojo. Femi. Okay. Femi. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think I know Femi. Hello, he Femi. writes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hello, Dr. Damages. I always watch your show and I love what you are doing. But I have a little problem with the way you are talking about the man of God. Ah. It is not good. It's not a good thing. And it's very dangerous. Ah. I don't know your religion, but please respect the other people's religion. Ah. What you said about Pastor Adeboye and Pastor Kumuyi uh -oh. in your last episode 211 yeah. is not good enough. What? Look for a better show. No, she said I look forward to your better <laughs> I know, I know. He said, I look forward to that show. <laughs> I would have show. said, watch Keeping It Real. I diagnose okay. you, heal yourself. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Um, Femi, thank you so much. I'm so sorry if you were offended. I, I, I don't remember saying anything other than what they said. Are you sure? I don't, I don't say things. Mm -hmm. I, I bring out what people... If, if they did not insult our collective intelligence, mm. I won't co mention them on my show. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, listen, my man, my man, they are because we are. Of course. And we are because they are. Mm -hmm. I hope you continue to watch the show and I hope I will do better. Please, we beg. Yeah? We do better. <laughs> Please, we need, we need that, you know, keeping the road is beating us. We need that count. Mm -hmm. One person. There everybody, can be competition. Everybody, everybody's important mm -hmm. to us. <laughs> Next. <laughs> Our second email is from Abba Gates. Oh, that's my AKA friend. AKA King Baba. Mm -hmm. I know him, yeah. I know him. <laughs> From Washington, D.C. Aha, we are he coming said, to Maryland soon. Greetings, doctor. The one and only damages. That's my friend. I'm going to need you to diagnose my beloved Africans with this, with those awareness. Mm. Title, mm. Europe is Africa's first and last enemy. Ah, Europe. He said, French officials are outraged by Nigeria being the first African country to generate trillion of their GDP. Ah growth and the french are secretly blaming england for letting that happen what france's policy is to maintain africa's population under one billion and no african country gdp should reach one trillion what? that's why they have created cfa currency for french speaking french speaking countries mm. to keep them broke indebted wow. Wow. while they cheat and heist resource and raw materials at the same time what? africa is the future but we got a long way to go. Mm -hmm. I'm proud of Nigeria, and I hope the best for President Buhari. Tomato, just my queen. I see you. I see hey, you too, my king. Thank you, Abba. <laughs> thank you, Abba. I'm happy you figured this out. Mm. You know the plot against Africa. Mm. I don't believe in conspiracy theory, but but you know I don't. I'm not saying you are believe in conspiracy do. theory, but mm -hmm. I hope that you can lead the charge to change these things. Knowing the problem is half of the solution. We now know the problem. The French, they don't like us. Is that what you're saying? Can you? No, no, no. The man can help us. L let me say this. Let me say. There are more Africans in Europe today hmm. than all the Europeans that came and colonized Africa. Hmm. There are more Congolese in America. Than Doctor, more... why are you talking about I'm the just, Congolese? I'm just, I'm just saying. Yeah, the Congolese girl I know, in the background. <laughs> So, so we don't have any excuse. We don't have any excuse. We don't have any excuse. Next. This is the only time you hear her talk. I anyway, know, our third email is from Sunday, from Vietnam. I don't know how to pronounce his Sunday last name. Sunday from mm -hmm. Vietnam. Wow. He writes. People are in, Nigerians are in Vietnam. Of course, they are everywhere. everywhere. Are you people? Okay. Hello, political doctor. Thank you for the good work that you and your clique. Mm -hmm. Your click. Do you know mm, what's yeah, a click? Yeah, tomato jaws is in the click. <laughs> no, I know, I know. That you and your click are doing. For reporting everything that happens in Africa, I say thank you. Mm. 
Doctor, is it true that Malam Shehu, Gava Shehu, President Buhari's special assistant on mm-hmm. media and publicity, mm. gave you $20,000 to cover President Buhari's mistakes in his last visit to the United States? <laughs> if true, why? Uh, if not true, why didn't you tell Nigerians what really happened? Wow, Sunday, Sunday. You looked at <laughs> me, eh? You looked at me up and down, up mm-hmm. and down. And you, you believe, look, look at this practice. You think that... <laughs> Huh? You can buy, they can buy me with twenty thousand dollars. Of course not. Eh? I know you are in Vietnam, where you know over there things are hard. <laughs> I, I'm just, I'm just saying, mom, that money, that hey. money is not half of tomorrow. Just uh, Christmas bonus. Oh, of course not. It's not. It's ah. So, so give me a little credit, please. Eh? This is America. Go back to where Buhari came in New York. Go back and watch our video and see what we said about that. We are not for sale. In any, in, any, in any case, if we are to go out of business, mm-hmm. <laughs> which, which may happen, someone like Gaba Shehu has not got enough money to buy us. Nothing. Mm. What about Dang, Dang, Dangote? You know, we have people. We, we, higher we, up. We are higher up. Mm-hmm. No, don't make us look mm-hmm. cheap. I know Vietnam, mm-hmm. you know, you can, you can, you know, with that money, you can you better start recognize. dancing in Vietnam. <laughs> this, is, this is New York City. Next. Woo! Our fourth email is from Mustafa Musa in Cairo. Ooh. Oh, that's right. my friend. We used to eat suya uh, when we were in, uh, in Zaria. You say, um, mm-hmm. what about that? No, too? you say, no, no, suya. suya. Mm, just suya. Depending on I'm who surprised. you're talking about. Yeah. I'm you surprised. Say, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He says, hello, doctor. Don't tell me you also got the pocket money related news. Ah. Mm-hmm. Nigerian banks to stop the US of ATM cards abroad. Oh. I beg, doctor, help the Nigerian student in abroad and diagnose this whole Fulani man in the villa. Ah. Uh, How me? I'm he just called, you know. He called the man full animal. Mm, shade. Is that not he a said, president of Nigeria? Okay. <laughs> Listen, I'm reading. He said, "How? How man picking go chop? Maybe they don't care about us now that wow. you, Steve, Zara, and others in Nigeria wow. are in Nigeria. Wow. We are in your hands, doctor. Wow. Also, a similar email came from Uma Farouk Abraham, mm-hmm. and he says, wow. "Hello, the baddest doctor. Now you're talking. Bado." <laughs> Please, help me diagnose CBN and uh, PMB uh, uh, about this their new policy of banning the use of MasterCard abroad wow. and justifying it with a flimsy reason of people traveling out with multiple cards mm. to make withdrawals abroad yeah. so they can sell it in Nigeria. Please, uh, what yeah. is the use of BVN mm. that we did? Mm. Help me kiss tomato, Josh. Ah! Hey. <laughs> my friends, my friends, thank you so much. About this issue of ATM usage abroad, mm-hmm. that question was put to the Minister of National Planning and Budgeting. And he was asked point blank, why is this happening? Look at his answer. We are aware and actions are being taken. Let me assure you. Um, it's just that the specific actions, the relevant minister to speak on it is not here. But action is being taken. Uh, yeah, the man said actions are being taken. <laughs> I, know, I know, I know. This action may take years. Yeah, but, working but, on but, it. But I, I, t- I tell you this: the, you can't mess with Nigerian students abroad. These are the the best and the brightest. Mm-hmm. Also, their parents are the ones who <laughs> most of them took their <laughs> took their money. I mean, Woo! that's that's what the government is saying. It's not me. I understand you are, you are, what you are going through, and they said they are they are working on it. Mm-hmm. Actions are being. Let's just wait. Let's, Musta, Musta, Musta. Let me tell you. You know, I can see that you want me to lose my license to practice medicine mm-hmm. in America. Eh? Let me assure you that what you suggested will never happen. Did you get it? <laughs> No, you didn't. Next? I got it. Okay, I okay, got it. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, our fifth and final email is oh, from Ayo in Canada. Final? Ayo. Yes. Ayo in Canada. No, in Canada. In Canada. <laughs> you know how far Canada is from Canada. <laughs> and Canada doesn't Ooh, start with C. <laughs> I know. Well, you know. Ca- 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 anyway. <laughs> okay. He writes okay. I search for your latest episode daily. Mm. And I couldn't find it. Oh. I guess you uploaded it late. Wow. But don't be lazy. Uh-uh. Get back to work. Uh-uh. Or are you going to the gym because of the senator's buffing? Uh-uh. The they is... thought they can cause more damages the than you can diagnose. Me. Anyway, I'm addicted to your show. Oh. Prescribe a drug for me. Oh. <laughs> Love you guys. Great job. Uh, I, I, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I, I, I'm sorry that if, if you look for our show, new episode, mm-hmm. and you couldn't say it, 
it's either that we are wiping our nose or that, <laughs> or that we are wiping our behind. What hey, I'm doing? Hey, I'm just saying, I, I, I'm, I'm always, I'm always hey, clear, plain. I don't hide mess. things. I say the way it is. Huh. No, it has to be one of hmm. the two. But um, if you watch to the end of every episode of each week, mm -hmm. we tell you what will happen next week. We always say that. Um, what was the other thing he said I should say? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, don't call my man here. No, Ayo, I'm Ayo. just joking. Ayo, thank you so we much. Love you, we, Ayo. We, 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 <laughs> we, we do everything possible to come out on time. I mm -hmm. know. The problem is, you blame it on Sasha and, and um, the other person who we can't mention his name. That's all the time we have. That's all the time we have for emails. <laughs> Please <laughs> keep sending your emails to Dr. Damages at gmail.com. And follow us on Twitter at Dr. Damages. Now, here's my concern today. It's taken from page 419 of the book. The Adventures of Mungo Park's Daughter, written by Anonymous. And it says, for success, attitude is equally as important as ability. Hey, that's deep. That's good. deep, yeah. That Your ability is minor compared to attitude. Hmm. Until next week, I'm Dr. Damages. I diagnose. You heal yourself. Woo! Yeah. So, Woo! so uh, happy new year, you guys. You know, happy I hope to new see you in the year. new year. We are going to make a lot of changes. Happy I yeah. will get new uniform for happy Tomato Joss. Yeah, happy new year. get new uniform for happy, Tomato Joss. Happy, happy, happy. We will ban people from drinking before they come happy on the set. Happy, happy, happy. <laughs> those happy, those changes happy, are important. I'm year. telling you. So Tomato Joss, how was still it? talking. How, hey, hey, I, I thought, thought the show was finished. <laughs> how was it, hey. Christmas? So you were talking about uh, the guy. The, do you say that somebody else came other than uh, the guy? From what the are person? you hearing? You are talking about people drinking. Did you drink before you came? You have pictures. Eh, what are you wearing? A, a doctor should not drink, you know? Doctors don't I'm drink. sure. Do you have pictures of uh, what happened? I saw a picture on your Facebook page. Hey. What picture? I, okay, show that picture. Yeah. What Why picture? Hey. See you, see doctor, you in the next year. Bye-bye. This, this, this is where I leave. Show, show okay. that picture. This is, this is